I have a data set of employees that combine their first name, last name, email address, and employee ID mixed with numbers. I would like to split this information into separate columns as shown here. Using formulas, which can be challenging. But, we can use Power Query option to get this task done easily and without the need for formulas. Let's get started. To begin, simply right-click on any cell within the dataset. Select Get Data from the Table or Range. Upon doing so, click OK to convert the data into a table format. This action will open the Power Query Editor window. Now, let's proceed with splitting the email addresses. Start by selecting the first column and navigating to the Transform group. Within this group, locate the Split Column option and click on it. From the list of choices, select for by delimiter. To specify the delimiter, choose the custom option. In the field below, enter, comma, followed by a space. This will remove any trailing white space after the comma when the text is split. Select the rightmost delimiter to ensure that only the email addresses are extracted from the data. Click OK to close the window. Now that we have successfully split the email addresses, you may choose to modify the column name if desired. Take a moment to make any necessary changes. Moving forward, we will apply a similar method to split the first name and last name. You can access the split by delimiter option by right-clicking on the respective column. Select the custom option to specify the delimiter, and type again, comma followed by a space character. Since we only have one delimiter in the text field, we can split the names at any position. But I will choose the rightmost option. We split the first name and last name as we expected. Now, let's tackle the trickier task of splitting the employee ID. As you can see, the employee ID doesn't follow a generic pattern. Some IDs have a three-letter code, while others have a two-letter code or even a combination of letters and numbers. But don't worry, we have a solution for this. Before we proceed, let's start by duplicating the employee ID column. This way, we can keep the original data intact. Now, using the split column option, we'll select by digit to non-digit. Since the employee ID starts with digits followed by non-digit characters, this option will split the digits and non-digits into separate columns. All right, the digits that appeared first have been split into a separate column. Now, we'll select the last column and apply the non-digit to digit option. This operation will split the non-digit characters and digits into separate columns. And there you have it. We've successfully split the employee ID into its constituent parts, regardless of the varying patterns. In just a few simple steps using Power Query, we were able to extract the necessary information from our dataset without the need for complex formulas. Power Query makes the process efficient and user-friendly. In my next tutorial I will explain you how to filter text in Pivot Table by using data modeling technique. So, if you are new to my channel please subscribe and stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching, and if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel for more useful tutorials. See you in the next video.